Welcome back to the vlog and welcome back here to Yifki, Papua New Guinea. My name is Ryan. We're heading over these mountains here down to Matiyama, just on like a 20 minute flight. So let's get started. Igniters on, fuel pump on and low start. Over 14% and also when our IT drops below 200, then we'll introduce our fuel. We just shut down maybe like 10 minutes ago, so TT is just kind of jumping up a little bit higher already, but still only peaked out at 640, so no biggie. All right, yeah, so you can see ahead of us, we've got some clouds in the circuit. It was a little bit tight coming in this morning, but uh, we're still able to get in and out. It looks worse from here, but once we take off, you'll see that it's kind of open up over there, or I could even turn right and head up the valley behind me as well. But we're at 3,200 feet. We got to climb up to around 85 to 9,000 to get over these mountain ranges over here to my right before dropping all the way back down to nearly sea level. So we're here and, all right, so we're, yeah, with a little blue dot here, and we're just heading over to this lake area right in here. So up to about 9,000 there and then drop back down to sea level there. And it's a 40 mile trip. So yeah, really, really not that far. Morsby 6538, November Tango Echo Taxi. November Tango Echo, Morsby, go ahead. November Tango Echo Taxi, Yifki, uh, Matiyama, not above 9,000, 3 POB. November Tango Echo, confirm Yifki for Mali Yali. Uh, negative, Yifki for Matiyama, Alpha, Yankee, Romeo, Juliet. November, Tango, Echo. All stations, Yifki, 128.5, November, Tango, Echo, taxiing Yifki for Matiyama. All right, trimming aboard, we're getting our trim set up right now. I'm going to be... Airspeed alive by the second cone up there. If I'm not, we'll go ahead and reverse. Maybe braking, cut up off, and shut up if we're going off. We'll go ahead, go straight ahead. After takeoff, pitch for 85 knots, consider EPL, consider feather immediately, left hand turn. Lower terrain down to the river, 80 full flaps, cut up, pull off, shut off. Emergencies, masters, and I'll just make a local call because the helicopter will be better to let them know I have an, a problem than Moresby. All right. Mission inlet and lights are done. We're 1440 for 1490. Ignition condition, flaps 20, fuel and harnesses. 1440 and rotate 58, so rotate at 56. And 66, so we had to come back in. All right, I don't see any dogs out there. Ten forty. All stations, EFP helicopter, we're Tango Hotel. Right, we're speed five alive. miles to the uh, west. Uh, becoming in low level, uh, below circuit elevation up the river. Should be out of the way for no Tango Echo departure. EFP. All right, seven forty on the ITT. Nice and clear out here. The helicopter is coming in that way, pretty low. So we're just going to go straight ahead. We'll climb out at seventy three knots for our best angle. There's 73 knots. And we'll just do a big old circle up this way right here. And all stations, EFQ 128 decimal five, November Tango Echo departed. And we'll be circling in the valley, passing 3,900 at this time. I keep my ITT all the way up to 740 for five minutes, which is just takeoff power. I'm gonna keep that in here just for a second because we have a helicopter coming in here. Uh, it was just five miles, so somewhere right in here. We'll do a couple of 360s and get up to 900,000 and then jump over the mountain and immediately drop all the way back down to sea level. All right, we're well over him now. Brian, I got you in sight. We're, uh, we're low level, uh, just about a half a mile to the uh, south, yeah, no factor. All right, 
Right, we'll climb out at 99 knots. That's going to be our best rate of climb. ITT at 720, our prop at 2,000 RPM. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's kind of like a wah, wah, wah sound. That's the engine inlet because it's in bypass. Once you get it out of there, then it stops. Put our landing light off and go ahead and make our departure call. Head on down this valley. There's a hole right above me, but it's a little small and I still have like 2,500 feet to climb before that. So I don't really want to commit myself yet until I know for sure I can get through that. November Tango Echo departed Yifki, time 4-8, on climb not above 9,000, estimating Madiyama 07 next hour, copy company, November Tango Hotel. Alright, there's a hole through here. Yeah, these mount this mountain range, it goes all the way up to 13,000 feet right over there. Um, I've got one more fight, so I'm heading out to Madiyama on this one. And then I'm going to head on to Wewak after that, pick up another group of people, head back out here to Yifki for my second run, and then all the way back to Goroka. So, if the weather's good enough, um, from Madiyama on to Wewak, I'm going to shoot that uh, video as well. And I've flown over a World War II aircraft before, B-25 um, wreck, that is really, really cool. But last time I did not have my 360 cameras. And I really wasn't able to really show you it very well because it was like a fixed camera angle. So this time, as long as the clouds have kind of raised up a little bit, I'd really love to be able to show that to you guys again. So uh, stay tuned after this one. I'll leave a link afterwards if you guys want to see that, if you haven't seen it yet. All right, now we've cleared over top of this. And we immediately start our descent down to, I think, 1,100 feet for pattern altitude now. All right, so if we do even 600 feet per minute descent, we can do it here in just a minute. That worked out well. It's nice being a little bit lighter today. Actually, it looks like my top of descent's right now, so... Vertical we'll, track. There you go. 600 feet per minute, or right on back down. All right, so we're just 13 minutes out of Matayama. Uh, let's go ahead and bring up their airstrip chart there. So this is kind of right on the edge of a lake. It's kind of just swamp land. They have a lot of crocodiles out there. Really cool. I've seen some of them that have, you know, like they were dead, of course, but still the skull of the uh, crocodiles are about this big and even about this wide, like probably a, maybe a foot and a half wide or so. It's just absolutely huge. Anyways, um, yeah, the elevation is 25, so really, I guess, more or less just sea level all the way back down to 1,000 feet for the pattern altitude. And it's just a one-way airstrip because it kind of goes into a hill, a bunch of jungle and whatnot. With a short, uh, I mean, a, like a late go-around, so really no dramas at all. As long as they've cut the grass, it should be good to go, but that was one of the reasons why I've got two guys on board right now. That's why I left WeWAC, went to Yipke first, because I had 10 people total, and I didn't want to climb from sea level up to 9,000 in just this short little 30-mile distance. Um, I'd rather just pop over empty from here, Yipke, and then descend down, so it just makes my life a little bit easier climbing and descending. So flying over here on the way from WeWAC, there was quite a bit of ground fog and low-layer clouds ranging anywhere from maybe a couple hundred feet up to a thousand feet and a couple different layers here close to Matayama. So I'm kind of hoping now that the sun's out, the upper layer has starting to burn off. It's going to just start blowing up out here pretty quickly, but I'm hoping that it's kind of cleared out enough that I can now get in easily without having too much problem. Because if I can't drop these guys off, then that really messes up my whole day uh, a lot. So hopefully I can get in. If you guys have a question, a burning question that you've asked me in one of the comments and I haven't been able to answer it, head down to the link below, replybank.com. It's a way that you can send me a direct message and I'll send you guys back a video response. Uh, one of the questions that I really thought was great was like, what's my favorite part about what I do here? And I would say the variety, I guess. And yes, we are flying the same routes over and over, but I mean, even today, like this route specifically from Yifki to Matayama, I've only done a couple of times. And even just how the weather is, it makes you go different ways. I absolutely love that. I love like the, the newness of it. 
like every day, even getting back into WeWAC, if I had to come in even for a second time to WeWAC, all of these clouds would be built up probably another six to 10,000 feet higher. And now my same route that I just took that was beautiful, now I'm having to make new decisions on how I'm gonna get in there safely, not have to go through storms, should I go through this or should I not go through that? I would say that's my absolute favorite thing about this job is just the variety in what we do. So if you have a question, check out the link below, Reply Bank, and ask me pretty much anything you want. And we're also, with Reply Bank, we're actually raising money to get a solar panel system for Yamai Talk. Uh, you guys have probably seen me fly in there a few times. They have a medical center that doesn't have any solar panels, so they don't have a refrigerator for their vaccines, um, so they can't hold vaccines out there. You know, if someone gets cut and they have to have stitches at night, everybody's standing around with flashlights for the doctor to be able to stitch somebody up. So I thought it'd be a really cool project for people to get on board with, partner with me, and being able to provide a solar panel system for the guys out at Yambai Talk and their community out there. So if you guys want to help out with that, ask me a question and uh, you'll be directly helping that project. All right, so we've got a couple of little mountains right here and here and here. And that's really what we're looking at directly and directly in front of us. And that's where a lot of the clouds are built up on. I'm hoping once we get right around it that it's going to just drop off. So I'm kind of probably planning on just curving in like that. That's my thought. Um, we'll see kind of what the cloud base is at, though. All right, I'm going to increase my descent just so I can get down this mountain directly in front of me. I want to get off to the left of it, get underneath this cloud base, because I, I can't tell from this angle if it's a full-on cloud base or if it's just a broken or scattered or something. But I think I have a better option or opportunity to get in um, if I can get down below that and then just come in low level underneath of it. All stations of Madiyama, 128 or 12815, November Tango Echo, 11 miles to the southwest, passing 3,800 on descent, circuit Madiyama 03. We'll also slow on down so we don't have to increase our descent anymore. Sure, our prop forward, that will help us slow down a little bit as well. And autopilot off. All right, so... Landing on runway one, two. I'm just gonna put my bug over here to runway one, two, and that way I know when to, when I get closer, I can switch my OBS and put a nice little line on my screen so I can get an orientation of where the runway is. Cause it's kind of down in the jungle and it's kind of hard to see. So it helps me kind of set myself up on a pattern a little bit easier. All right, fuel selectors are good. Our TAWS is turned off. Our V-REF, we've already got set up and I just readjusted it to 65 knots. Flip our landing light on. We'll do our bypass into, our engine inlet into bypass. And we'll talk about the rest here in a minute. All right, yeah, it looks like it's clear underneath, so that's good. And our power back in. Now that we're a little bit closer and we can see the area, we'll switch our OBS to runway 120. Doesn't look like we'll have any issues. Doesn't look like there's really any clouds in the pattern either, so that's awesome. All stations of Mariyama, 128.5, November Tango Echoes in the circuit, Mariyama. 1267, November Tango Echoes in the circuit, Mariyama. Morsby 6538, November Tango Echo. November, Tango, Echo, in the circuit, Matiyama, cancel SAR. Tango, Echo. Mariyama, so what's the major? November, Tango, Echo. All right, if we do need to go around, it's power up 20 degrees of flaps, pitch for 73 knots, right hand turn out, reset, ITT 740. Looks like the clouds are right at 1,000 feet today, right at pattern altitude. All right, prop and harness is done. Flaps to go. We've already talked about abort and emergency procedures. We'll just stick at 900 feet for our pattern today then. We'll fly overhead, take a look down below, make sure that everybody knows we're here, get any dogs off, kids off, whatever else. And that way I can also see if it's been flooded or if it's been cut or anything like that. At 10 degrees of flaps. 
Uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, 20 degrees of flaps. There's a little island out here. That's pretty much where we'll be turning our final. Right at 500 feet. That's actually breezy out today. Seven knots of wind. That's actually quite a bit. Yeah, indicating on the water too, so. Actually, it's not really that windy out here. So I'll have a tailwind coming in. All right, we want 65 knots, so we'll do 75 knots on base. We're going to pitch from airspeed, power from my altitude. We'll flap checklist complete. 500. Do five. 20, turning final, right over top of the island, we want 65 knots. It looks like they cut all the brush down um, at the end of the runway, which is actually really nice. You can actually have a little bit better of an approach coming in now. Probably the full length of the runway that used to be, but over years they just kind of let the jungle grow up. So I'm actually landing a little bit further in than where I originally thought. I haven't seen it cut like this before ever. All right, five knots of tailwind. Run up uncommitted. Air speed's fast. My descent's good. and firm, the grass isn't too high, so that's really nice. Anyways guys, welcome to Matayama. Like I said, I'm gonna be shooting another film uh, from here onto WeWAC, and I'm hoping that the cloud base is high enough to where I can show you guys this World War II plane. I've showed it to you guys before, but it was kind of a crappy job, because I didn't have the right cameras. So now I do, so I'm hoping that I get some really cool footage for you. If you guys enjoyed this short little flight over here, uh, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and if you guys want to be a part of that project, helping out the guys, uh, the community out at Yambai Talk, ask me a question on Reply Bank. Uh, I'll send you a direct message, uh, a video message right to your email, so. All right, shut down, just write down our ending fuel and our hops time. Cut off our blowers, all of our lights, all of our... And that's it guys, thanks so much for watching, you guys have a wonderful day.